Welcome back to Sailing Catalpa. Here's what's coming up. Top of the island there, up to Puerto de Penasco. We are an Australian family that set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. We're not far away from our anchorage where we're going to stay tonight in Refugio Island. There's uh, lots of sea lions on that big white rock just there. You can hear them. And our plan is to stay here tonight and we have a 100 nautical mile passage to Porta Pinasco tomorrow and we haul out the following day so oh our time in the sea of Cortez in the water it's come to an yeah. end which is really sad for now we're obviously going to get put back in the water in a couple of months hopefully but not looking forward to the boatyard how about you captain Oh, she's going to be hot. A lot of work ahead of us. I don't know how much we'll get done. And... But we'll just make a start and we'll go from there. On the very wind today, so we have motored from our last anchorage, which was 30 nautical miles. And Bella and I planned on climbing the volcano that was there this morning before we left, but that didn't happen. Um, it was super hot last night and I didn't sleep the best. So. We are coming in to our last stop before we cross over to Puerto Penasco tomorrow to be hauled out. Looking forward to going back in the water and we're not even out yet. Anyway, just navigating in through a little channel here. Um, using our satellite imagery and uh, hopefully all goes well. So a reason that we also have to be hauled out for a couple of months is because it is hurricane season so we've had to come up all the way to the top of the Sea of Cortez to be hauled out and be safe from the hurricanes. It's a little bit sad. We have to haul the boat out. It is for our own safety and also we need to do boat works but yeah. This will be our last anchorage on the water. Oh, that's so sad. Hauling out is probably my least favorite thing. Look at this fab tabulous hat. So we were gonna go seal looking but I can't anymore because mum and dad were in the tender hopping in they're still at the back they're like putting all the gear in the boat right and another pelican just comes straight up dad is like touching it I got attacked yesterday by a pelican it bit my foot it attacked me I can't I do not like birds like they are my least favorite and like I am so scared of birds and so I cannot come and sit in the tender because they're just there and I, I couldn't do it so I'm not going. This pelican is making Bella don't want to come out. He follows your hands. Look, he looks at your hands. Taj decided to stay with me while mum and dad went to swim with the sea lions.
This was such an incredible experience. They were so inquisitive and curious. They started off quite shy, but the longer we were down there, the closer they got. I was loving every minute and couldn't believe how cute they were, trying to swim on in and check us out. stuffed up when we're halfway through and I, I was just it wouldn't go on and I'm like no I can't miss this so I opened the case and pulled the GoPro out we went very deep so thank god I did because I think some of that footage would be beautiful they were coming right up to us at the end they were getting so comfortable anyway I wish the kids came but it's hard to think that yeah, we'll see if they want to have a go before we leave tomorrow. We just showed the kids a video and we've talked them into it, so they're coming out. We've worked out that we can buddy dive with the one scuba tank and the BCD that we have, and then two people can go with our small little tank. So we can all go and sit under the water with the seals. So we're going to go before it gets too dark, but it's about 5 30, we've got about two hours of light. Um, yeah, super stoked, so fun. Let's go again.
It's a big pelican. Can we get away from the pelican, please? What do you say it's a big one? Yeah. yeah look at that. Oh, get away look at that bull. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what they were like when we come. All piled on top of each other. They're all going to the water when they see the water. Look at the cactus! Altar up there. We're gonna go check it out. The cub is over there. <laughs> What's up there? The What's up there, babe? I don't know the bees are all going over me from the only bit of moisture here. <laughs> Look at all these pretty, pretty greenery. It's really dark, but it's actually quite pretty. The GoPro is not doing it justice. Oh, there you go, now you can see a little bit. Ah. Very nice. Let's have a look up here. <laughs> oh, it's an altar, but it looks like somebody's broken. What's inside? Oh, look at that. Look at the shot. It's a nice view. There's the family down there. Coming! Was it a bee? Oh, it's a bee on my back. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <gasps> There's one of those bugs. It's alive. I don't know if you guys remember that episode I picked up um, the bug that was, it was dead. The tarantula eating bug. <gasps> There's a live one in that tree, just in there. And I don't want anything to do with it because everyone told me how painful they are and how horrible they are. So I'm out, I'm out, I'm running down away from that thing. Oh my god. <laughs> you know that bug I found on the beach that time? What? You know that big bug? Oh, yeah. No, I just saw a live one. This was a beautiful afternoon doing what we love, exploring until the sun went down. How lucky we are that this is our life. We're just pulling anger from the last stop on Refugio Island. In the Sea of Cortez for us, we're heading to Pinasco, Porto Pinasco, and um, got a 100 nautical mile passage to go. So it's about 12 a.m. at 12 p.m. and we're just about to fall anchor. We had a nice little stop here. We swam with some sea lions. We had a great time. We've had a really, really great time. The last few months have been incredible. So 
not looking forward to this little stint, but we're gonna take it with a smile <laughs> and get the hard work done so we can come back and play. Yeah. All right, let's pull All the anchor. Right, let's do this. Before we pull the anchor, I'm going to first make our mud waters. As you all know, we love mud water, a healthy habit brand known for its coffee alternative. Not only does it taste great, but it's full of purposeful ingredients. Cacao and chai for a hint of caffeine and flavor, lion's mane for focus, cordyceps for natural energy, and both reishi and chaga to support a healthy immune system. We drink mud water every day and can't get enough. All right, let's go pull the anchor. All right, what was your favorite bit of the sea, Cortez? Favorite place? Where we went wakeboarding. Vico. Yours, babe? Oh, yeah, we won't jump. Favourite place in the Sea of Cortez was standing beside my beautiful wife in paradise. It's not a good with decision making. Uh, I think I agree with the kids. I really liked um, Iris, Iris B2. Iris. It's Spiritu Santos Island and V Cove. We pulled the sails up and prepared for our 20 hour passage ahead to the top of the sea. And as bummed as we were that this meant our sailing adventures would yet again come to a pause, it was nice to reflect on the last few months and how much we love being back out exploring and seeing new places. All right, so we're Make going from this island, top of the oh. island there, up to Puerto Penasco. How's it? How is it? Shit. <laughs> it's not the most comfortable sailing, but it's alright. It's not too bad. I think something just went flying downstairs, but other than that, it's been pretty good. We've been pretty good. We have stowed away mostly. Stowed away. I think our final 70 nautical miles Back is happening. I was so scared about the toilet situation, but now we're renting a house. So. Uh, it looks well, we like. I know that. We're thinking about renting a place while we are on the hard stand so that we can get more done. We're about 15 nautical miles away from Puerto Pasco. And we had a pretty, pretty decent sail. Sailed the whole way. And it's just coming out. The captain is asleep. Not about six knots. The wind is behind us. Ripper of a night. A little lumpy at the start. We left uh, 12 o'clock. Lunchtime yesterday. It's uh, about 8 o'clock now, uh, we're due to haul out at 10 o'clock, Sarah's just asleep at the moment, but uh, I'm going to best about to wake everybody up, I'm going to have to just drop the head sail, we're pretty much on time, like I said it's 8 o'clock now, we're coming in pretty hot, so I'm going to reduce sail and slow us down a bit for our 10 o'clock haul out. So uh, fingers crossed, it all goes well, it's been, we haven't hauled this boat out since we've owned it, so one of those things you know they say never buy a boat unless you get a full survey a year later we're pulling it out so yeah here we are in Porto Penasco and we got here just in time it's like 9 30 <laughs> all that was for 10 a.m. and we've just pulled in um, I'll have more words when we're hauled out a little yeah. bit nervous to be honest it's, there's a lot of nerves it's been a little stressful coming in here our main sails playing up again so 
we haven't even put that away properly it's just flaked on top of the boom which is really annoying but anyway it's fine and yeah we said we had a great sail it was a little bit rocky but we sailed pretty much the whole way so anyway this looks like a fishing village there are like trawlers fishing boats everywhere and it's a little smelly <laughs> but we are just waiting in the boat yard so they'll be five to ten minutes and they'll be ready for us so 